Yo, what is up guys? Kelly Kevin and today back with a brand new episode of Fallout 4 Mines. Hopefully you guys are having a super awesome day. If you are, then I'll tilt my hat too. And if you're not, obviously hopefully it gets better. But yeah, today I'm going to be showcasing a pretty sweet weapon, I'm not going to lie. It's free, it's easy to get, well it's free as in like the sense of you obviously don't need to make, have anything to craft it. I mean, don't mean it's like free, like, oh you have to pay for this mod. There's nothing like that, it's just no requirements. And uh, it's pretty damn easy to find as well. So obviously once you've downloaded this mod, obviously if you want it as well, it is down in the description below. Make sure to click those links, head over to the websites and uh, yeah, download them. And they are free. You can get those for free, don't worry. But once you've installed it and you're ready to go and it's all gravy, I can't think of anything to an allergy to go with that. Gravy in the hood, I was going to say. That's a little bit weird. But once you've done it, obviously, when you've come out of the vault, or if anywhere, you obviously unlock this beautiful area, which is Sanctuary. And the easiest way to find it is in your old house. Now, I'm actually going to go in my old house. It's a little bit of a weird location as well. So, obviously, I've kitted mine out and deducted and deleted a lot of stuff. If you have done that as well on your gameplay, don't worry, it will be there like mine levitating. But if not, it's actually placed on one of the cabinets. Obviously, once you come into your old player house, Go into your bedroom that was originally, so obviously past the, uh, the bathroom on the left, past Sean's room on the right and on the left in here. Oh damn, it should be in here. This beautiful little thing. I obviously can't say the name of it, purely because A, I can't read what it says, and B, I actually don't want to slaughter it. So there we go, we picked that up, and it's a beautiful little katana. You can actually mod this weapon as well, so I'm going to show you what the modifications are like as well. Unfortunately, I'm not going to try this out purely because I'm on currently on the Xbox One version, and uh, if I spawn in a legendary death claw, excuse me, a, le a death claw, it will come out as a legendary death claw or a mythic de death claw. So I can't show you the true potential damage that would be on this blade purely because uh, mythics and legendaries are very hard to come by. So obviously, you know, if I could just spawn a death claw, that'd be sick, but I can't. It spawns a legendary or mythic or even a mythic legendary every single time, which is kind of a piss take, I'm not gonna lie. But oh well, then just kind of fix that. I'm not gonna, you know, add out a new mod. Um, so obviously you don't wanna go into, I keep doing that. It's like the third episode I've done that now where you go into your crafting station. You don't need to go into crafting station, we're obviously going to go to the weapons and modification station. We're going to go in here, or workbench. As you can tell, there's a little blade here right now. So to begin with, it is A, very fast. It is 163 damage, which is kind of sick, I'm not going to lie. So base damage, that's pretty nice. Uh, weight, 2.5. So obviously, hence, in conjunction with that speed, very fast. It is a very light blade, as they should be, katanas. As you can tell, this one's a little bit rusty. A little bit shitty, but then again, we are in pre-war, so that's not too bad. Again, probably very sharp. Va value on this is 600. That's quite low for a modified weapon to do with Fallout. I'm not going to lie, some other ones we've covered, they have been in the thousands. So obviously, we can switch the blade here, no upgrade. And as you can tell here, you get some couple of upgrades. Now, these do requ require a few amount of resources to, obviously, yeah modify the blade you are going to need blacksmith as well uh, anywhere between level one two three so if you're working on those that's fine so we've got the blade restorement here obviously just gives it back to the original setting uh, this one as well which increases the value by a lot there we go and this is the one i wanted the most is the legendary form it gives the blade a legendary uh ken blade that causes legendary bleeding and cuts into armor if war is truly an art, then let's be this paint job. Okay, so that yeah, basically, it says the same thing on the right hand side. I was just reading the one on the left, but 652 damage is insane, plus 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 as well. So you know it's going to be very deadly. The weight still stays the same as fast. Uh, the sorry, the speed stays the same, the weight stays the same, and the value has gone up by a on which is awesome that's cool not a lot of requirements to obviously add on to that blade as well so obviously if katana is your sort of thing then that's sick so let's obviously have a little look what it is apologies i am naked as well it's a little bit weird but here it is here is the blade so obviously let's get it out and have a little look it does look pretty savage i'm not gonna lie and it is incredibly fast actually Again, I keep saying this and then throughout every one of my videos, someone needs to make a, uh, what is it, a dual wielding sort of mod. Dual wielder these would be freaking sick. It's not that fast to be honest, obviously, I think it's the recoil that's quick enough. Obviously the sweep, swinging down and the swing motion itself is, uh, is very good. I don't know what the power attack looks like. Again, very fast, not gonna lie. 
beautiful little blade obviously if you're going through a melee stealth gameplay or even just a melee gameplay then obviously this is the mod to have but guys if you did enjoy this video hit me up with a like and a comment let me know if you're going to get this weapon let me know if you like any melee weapons as well if you do name one in the comment section below we'll have a little chat about it. i'm very active on the channel but yeah guys i really do appreciate you stopping by it does mean a lot but until the next one guys kill a kev here and get a kev out